everybody, it's me, Fred, and I've come to do some maths. Mrs Jones! Hello, I'm here too. Mrs Jones and Fred. Hey, guess what? Today we're going to be doing some more doubling. Yeah. Fred really loved doubling yesterday. So just a quick reminder what doubling is, okay? So doubling, Fred, yeah. is when you have two of something, okay? It has to be two numbers of equal amounts. Yeah. And to work out how to double, okay, we add the same number to itself. Yeah, I, th I think I get it. He thinks he get it. Did ever so well yesterday. Okay, so... Let's have a look. We'll just have a little practice, okay? So remember, oh, I've got some cute little, who have I got here, look, Fred? Oh, some cute little cats. I've got some animals that I'm going to double. So remember, I've got two, I've have two lots of something, haven't we? Okay, so I want you to count my first group of something. Okay, Fred? Yeah. Okay, so let's count them. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I've got four cats. Now, if we want to do double four, okay, Fred? Yeah. So we have to double the number. Okay, we have to add the same number to itself. So we've got number four, so then we have to have two equal amounts, don't we? Yeah. So if we've got four, we need another... Four. Yeah, because to double four, we have to add four, add four. So guess what, to help us? Because we've got four more. One. Two, three, four. Okay, so now we've got four add four because we've got to double the amount. So if we're doubling, will we get more animals or less animals, Fred? More. More. Okay, so we've got to count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight animals all together. So double four is eight. Yeah, I like it with the animals. He likes it with the animals. But you could do that at home if you want to practice your doubling. Just get your toys. Pick a number. Mrs Jones picked number four, but you could pick five or two or eight. And then you have to get equal amount. Okay, so if you've got one lot of eight, you have to get another lot of eight. And then count them all together. And that's how you work out how to double. Okay, right. But today, you're going to love this. You are too, Fred. Am I? Yes, you are. Because we're using our part, part, whole. Oh. I know. We've done this before. We're going to use it to help us with our doubling. Great. Okay, let's bring it forward then, Fred. Because they need to be able to see it, don't they, at home? Okay, does that work? Let's, let's push that a little bit. That's it. And if I bob down a little bit, Fred, to get a bit closer, look at us. Okay, we can see it. All right. So then, Fred, we've got our part, part, whole. So guess what? We can have two equal amounts. Look, Fred, where's my pointer? Look, two equal amounts, because we need two equal amounts to do doubling. Yeah, and that's where we can find our whole, our total amount. Oh, you're going to love this. Right, Fred, if we had a dice, we could roll the dice 
think, and then find out a number. But we're going to have to borrow Fred's brain today, because guess what? We didn't bring a dice. Did we not? No, we didn't, Fred. So it's all down to you. Oh, my goodness. So you have to think of the number. Huh. It's not difficult, Fred. Right. Give me a number, OK? You can look on the number line. I'm going to choose a number three. He's going to choose the number three. He spotted it on our number line. There it is, look. Number three. So I'm going to count three bricks. One, two, three. Now remember, Fred, we are doubling. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to work out double three. Okay, so if we've got three on this side in this part, remember we have to have two equal parts. What what bricks are we putting on the next part? Three. Because we've got to have the same, haven't we? One, two, three. So now we can work out double three. Okay, but I could even write that as a number sentence. And we did this last time. So... To double three, okay, remember two equal amounts and we have to add the number to itself. So three add three, one, two, look, two of them. Now we need to work it out. Are you going to do some counting, Fred? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> double three. Double three is six. Okay, I'm going to write that number six there. Okay, double three. I'm going to write the number three under there as well. Okay, so double three is six. Now then, we're going to have to think of another number, Fred. Look at that number line. Okay. Yeah. Which number are you going to go for this time, Fred? Ah. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Seven. Seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. Six. So this is a squeeze, Fred. Seven. Okay. Got seven bricks there. So if we want to find, let's put the number seven underneath. If we want to find double seven, okay, what do we need to do, Fred? Ah, uh, double seven. Yeah, and we need to work out how to find double seven. Well, it's got to have equal amounts. Yeah, it's got to have equal amounts, yeah. Two equal amounts. Yeah, look, there's our two parts, yeah. So what do we need to put in the other part then? Seven. Seven. We need one. We need our seven bricks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Oh, put another seven under there. Right then. So then, what do we do next? So to find double seven, Fred. What do we do next? To double the number, yeah. we add the same number to itself. Oh, OK. Same number to itself. OK, got that. So that's seven, add seven. OK. Whew. How you feel about counting all of that, Fred? What? That's a lot of bricks. I know it's a lot of bricks. Well, you're going to have to have to go and have a go at counting them all, Fred. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be scared. I've got my pointer, OK? We won't go wrong. All right? OK. OK. One. Oh, wait a minute. Are you counting? Oh, I forgot. Oh, Fred. Ready, Fred? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wow! 
out of 14. Let's find it on that number line. We've got 10 over there, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's a 1 and a 4. Okay, so double 7 is 14. Wow. Wow. Okay, right, let's rub this one off. I think we'll do another one. To take the bricks off. We'll take the bricks off there because we might need them, Fred. Oh. Right then. Oh, it's a bit of a stretch, Fred. Yeah. yeah. I need to rub my numbers out though. Come on then, Fred. Think of a number. Number, uh, well, look at the number line. Ten. Whew, it's going to some big numbers today. Right, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, oh my goodness, ten. I only just fit them on, Fred. Got to write that number though, number ten, under there, because that's what we're doubling. Ten. We're going to do double ten. So that means doubling, Fred. Yeah. If you remember, doubling is to have two of something, okay? Two numbers of equal amounts, yeah? Yeah. And to double a number, you add the number, another number, to itself. Okay. Okay, right. So, 10 add what then? Because it has to be two equal. Equal for means that it's the same. Yeah. So, if it's the same, it's 10. So, 10 add 10. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three... Four. Oh, it's, oh, they're falling off, Fred. <laughs> no, don't laugh. It's not funny. Dear me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. I'm going to write that under there. 10. Okay. Oh, but my equal sign. So double ten. I've got to count all them. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. Right. One, two. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just having to think a minute because that's a lot to count, isn't it? Right. We know that there's ten in this side, don't we, Fred? Yeah. And we know that there's ten in that side, so it's ten out of ten. Could we put one lot of ten in your head? Because you know what's one more than ten. What number comes after ten? Eleven. So we could count on, couldn't we? Okay. So we'll put this ten in your head. Yeah. Look at the number line. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. Look. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my goodness. Double 10 is 20. Wow, have we used some big numbers today. I'm actually quite proud of you, Fred. Did some great counting. Thanks. So, more doubling. So I'd like you to have a go at at home. Again, you could use your toys, you know, for a little bit of a warm up, get your toys together, do some doubling. But you've got to remember to double, you have to have two groups of equal parts. They both have to have the same number to double. And if you if you get a smaller number, you know, you've gone a little bit wrong. Because what's the number going to get, Fred? It's bigger or smaller if you're doubling? Bigger. Bigger. Um, so you've got to have two equal amounts, remember, or you could 
do your part, part, whole, because me and Fred love part, part, whole. And again, so you've got your two equal parts, okay, to find that whole, which is your double, okay. So we found double 10, 10 add 10 equals 20, double 10 is 20, uh, double 7 was 14. Oh, that looks a bit better. 10 and 10 is 20. Yeah. You was thinking what we were doubling. I was thinking what we were doubling. So you at home, could you, you've got your part, part holes, a lot of you. So 10 and 10 is 20. That's double 10 is 20. So you could do some different numbers and double them. Anyway, have fun. Because me and Fred, we're going to say bye-bye now. Because Fred, yeah, you could have a go at doing some more doubling. I could. You could. You could use a part part hole in your bricks. Yeah. Okay. Me and Fred are going to get busy. You get busy at home. All right. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.